Welcome back to our channel. I'm Pushkar Singh. Today I'm excited to show you how to automate your responses using Respond.io and see the data seamlessly with Google Sheet. Before we dive into scenarios and where I will explain you bit by bit how does the scenario is working. So before I go there, uh, if you're working or you're if you're, if you're working or you have a business which uses the respond.io on Google Sheet, and you must have posed a significant challenge managing data communication manually. Every day it will, it will feel like a constant struggle trying to keep up with messages, track interactions, and analyze trends. It will drain your time and energy. So to overcome this challenge, we have created a particular solution for that. And this is this is a particular solution. This automation will help you streamline the process by integrating respond.io google sheet and it will automate responses sensing data seamlessly so before we dive into the scenario i'll just show you the demo how it, how it does it work so if i try to create a contact here suppose i'm create a contact test test alpha and email number client I'll explain you why I have put a tag client here afterwards so I'll let it go random dream outcome random <coughs> FED date 24 local let it be random so I'm just putting a random values here I'll just show you the how particular scenario is working so yeah make it into ID yeah so uh, now I have created a contact here. So if I go to Google Sheet, it will be updated here. So as you can see here, test, al test, test, alpha. Yeah. See, particular contact has been updated here. I haven't done anything. It's complete automation. So yeah, it does work like this. So yeah, this is a scenario. First is the first module is trigger. Second is a router. Then third is a search. Google Sheet module, fourth is router, and there are no filters, and then again sheet modules. So I'll explain you bit by bit what are the modules and how does they work. So first is a trigger. Always remember that a make.com, the scenario is triggered by the first module, which is called as a trigger. There are two kinds of triggers, instant triggers and acid triggers. Instant triggers provide the functionality as like as soon as the data is being updated in a particular platform which provides an instant trigger that will pass the information to that trigger instantly. Otherwise, there are different kinds of the, other part of other types of triggers are like uh, they schedule at at an interval of time, like fifteen minutes, thirty minutes. It they schedule and they trigger at a particular interval of time. So yeah, if we move to the next module, which is a router, it provides a functionality like it can give you multiple routes to provide an a like uh, it will give a functionality to execute your scenarios in multiple ways. Suppose if I have two routes here, just put a third module, fourth module, fifth module, these are the, so now I can put a filters here and I can uh, create a more scenario here, which will, which will uh, empower me to provide multiple routes to the scenario. So this, this is how router works. So in this scenario, I have used this, so here you can use auto line to this. So now let's move the filters. So filter is the part where we can selectively pass a particular bundle based on the selected filters. Like I have created a tag here. If the tag is client, then only the information will be updated in the Google Sheet. That's why I have mentioned the tag here. So yeah, you can see I have updated the tag here. Then it will go here, pass from this. Then I have used a search module. So search module does like, uh, it will take some, like these are the like phone number exists. It should be equal to this. Phone number exists, then email should be exist, email should be like this. So these are the map, these are the values which have been mapped from this instant trigger modules. So I've used this names and these to map this and particularly search the more contact in Google Sheet. If it presents, if it, it is already present in the Google Sheet, what will it do? Like it will provide a bundle. So if a bundle does exist, so yeah, if bundle order position exists, it will go and pass through this and it will update a row. If bundle position does not exist, what will it, it will do, it will pass from this route and create a contact here. So and the other part is that I have created a uh, provided a multiple error handlers. This is break, this is ignore. The remaining part is of the go high level. So I haven't shown you, but the let me explain you. So go high level is a CRM like software, it provides stores the data of the leads so yeah suppose 
if a contact is being created here, it will pass through, it will search here, then again this route when the position exists, does not exist. If, if it exists, it will create an update a contact. It will it, it, it does not exist, it will not create a contact. So yeah, as you can see, these have seen how automation can transform data management on respond.io and Google Sheet. Imagine the possibility for your own business. Whether you are running an e-commerce store, managing client inquiries or tracking leads, solution, we can help you save time and streamline your workflow. By automating responses and syncing data, you can focus on what truly matters, providing exceptional service to consume customers and growing a business and show diverse scenarios where automation can be implemented. And the best part, our automation solution is versatile. From Customizable, allowing you to trailer to your specific need, display different ways of views. So, whether you are large corporation or small business, take first step toward greater efficiency and success by implementing automation in business and contact us if you require.